I, I can't for the avocado. I don't care. I'm trying to do this. That's what you get. You don't appreciate your husband. Two steps ahead. Mm. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. This place is a mess. There's no room in this. There's the manager. Two steps Whoa. ahead. I am always two steps ahead. Jesus, guys. This has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. Whose job is it to clean this up? Oh, shivers. Excuse me. Last night I went to bed really early. I was just all tuckered out, so I said goodbye, Moon, and okay. I snuggled on into bed to catch some Z's. Little did I know that while I slumbered, we'd all been paid a visit by someone very special. Okay. And I'm not talking about Santa Claus, but I am talking about another man in a red shirt. Nikocado Avocado. In search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. <laughs> Thirsty for a distraction wow. from time unspent, wow. spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, Follows another, follows another. Listen here, peasants. I wore the wrong shoes. I am rarely left speechless by the things I see on the internet. Yeah. But when I opened my phone this morning and saw this video from Nika Kato Avocado. I didn't have a damn thing to say. I just stared and stared like an idiot. Yeah. I was so confused. Not even 24 hours ago, I made a live stream called He Got Bigger. Yeah. Where I made fun of him for being fat. I need to go update that title real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh. keep my composure in this video, but just keep in mind, I am still in shock. Uh. Nikocado Avocado, the internet's fat guy mm. that we've been making fun of for years just came out of nowhere and lost all the weight. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people. People consuming anything that they're told to consume. So wow. I am the villain because I made myself one. Jesus. Wow. Bro, I went in on Nico. I went in. I always thought that his videos were entertaining. But I went in. I was I was fooled. I guess I'm the fool. This is this is crazy, guys. I've never seen anything like this. Have you guys ever seen a person for two years pretend that he is fat? And the question is also as well, like, didn't anyone see him when he was walking around? Not enough. These fruits are very healthy for me! <gasps> With you. This moment right here is this generation's yeah. I am your father. This yeah. is up there with the Darth Vader identity yes. reveal. Perhaps one of the most unexpected things I've seen in quite some time. When I was watching this, I let out an audible whoa. 
Like, I couldn't help myself. My body responded without any other part of me having say-so over it. My body itself, my soul, was shocked when he took the mask off there. On his second channel, he mentions that it's been two years since he's made a video, so you can piece little breadcrumbs together in your head and follow this path here, connecting the dots. He has released videos <coughs> on all of his channels over the course of two years, quite a few of them. Not to the same frequency that he used to, but he still had a ton of videos that he's releasing over the last two years. Videos that were posted mm. two weeks ago, or even as recent as five days ago, where he is that same weight, were all apparently recorded years ago. And it's not like it's CGI and it's not AI generated content. Nick actually just had a crazy backlog, like the Library of Alexandria for mukbangs, and he just kept going to the vault to upload some of that old pre-recorded content as if it was new, and people were none the wiser. Oh, yeah! And then <laughs> I'm officially crying. You are. <clears throat> All these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories mm. in search of ideas of conflict of rivalries where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement where people feel involved with the stories yeah, I've been talking about this on the channel so many times where we have become an algorithm. Because the thing is like this, where you see success, you run towards. And that is how it has always been on social media. If, if they see something which works, the whole crowd will flock to that thing. What is up guys? My name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we've partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. And the thing with being a, I have to say a modern influencer is that you have to be able to play both of those games. You have to go where the views are, but you also have to be original. And all the videos that people were talking about were actually videos that Nick Akato had filmed two years prior uh... and kept drip feeding to the community to keep them either entertained or keep himself fanning the flames of drama for people <sighs> to latch on to. It, it is actually very fascinating. Yeah. I want you to take a like, Put the cheese on there. You want ready for the cheese? Put the cheese on there. Mm. Put the cheese on there. Okay. This is what his previous video looked like. Ah. Uh. Out of nowhere, no one saw this coming. Yeah. But not only did he lose the weight, he started his video with a three minute super villain monologue <laughs> about how he was playing us all like puppets. And you know what? I believe him. Yeah. He got me. And therefore become product of influence. Yeah thirsty for distraction, from time unspent, from lackluster lifestyles, spoiling their minds while stimulating them at the exact same time. Yeah. It's brilliant. I feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants mm. on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's, it's mesmerizing, it's enthralling, it's spellbinding. Just look 
at all these consumers, all of these lost and bored people consuming anything that they're told to consume. I am the villain. But I make myself one. And people will consume these stories year after year after year. The stories that stories that shock, that confuse, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction. Story you know what I find fascinating, guys, is the fact that this was created in order to enslave us. It started off very innocent. Hey, there's a cell phone. You can call your friends. Very innocent. Then they put a camera on it. Then you could take some pictures. You know, <laughs> taking pictures of, oh, wow. And then you could film on it. And it's just gradually growing, growing and growing. And they're just feeding into it. Because something which I've noticed, if you're manipulating a person, you can't come with all of it at once. The person is going to reject that. Too much change is never good. You have to do it slowly and slowly and slowly. Because I was out the other night and it just dawned on me while we out. What are we doing here? What are we celebrating? I have something to celebrate. But most of the people do not have anything to celebrate. They haven't done anything. They worked and then they went to the club. That's it. And I find that very, very interesting because like when he is speaking, sometimes it's the exact same way that I view the world. Where I'm just like, I can say things like, for instance, this is just something which I've said so many times. In the future, we're not going to have any doctors. Currency, that's a thing of the past. I've been saying this so many times. Because if you think of it, just like they're building robots for everything. And it starts very small. Just like the cell phone. Uh, I can... I got a robot which washes your dishes. Oh, now the robot is doing this. And now the robot is driving you. And now before you know it, there aren't any more jobs. Because what is a job? It's a service. You're helping other people, right? But now the robot is going to be able to do that. So then the question becomes, how is the future going to look for all of us? I know exactly what I'm going to do and how I have to prepare for it. But the question is, do you know what is going to happen? Because everything is going to change. Schools aren't going to be the same in the future. Everything is going to change. Everything as you know it is going to change. And we're not going back. And now think of the greediest people, how they're thinking. Are they thinking, oh, we're going to try to help humanity no they want to collect as much resources as they can because when that i have to say like what a big war comes then the robots will be strong enough to protect the higher ups so how are you going to position yourself right and put yourself in a position where you can win that is the question i mentioned this thing about youtube years ago i mentioned this whole thing about podcasting years ago the reason why they allow us to do all of these things is to keep us distracted but here's my thing one month ago he made a video on his like second channel or whatever and he was still fat still doing the same exact thing he had been doing for years and obviously you can't lose 200 pounds in a month. So how long has he been faking it and posting, I guess, pre-recorded videos? Has it been <laughs> planned? Did he eight years ago be like, oh, I'm going to get fat 
and uh, make everyone bully me on the internet and then secretly lose all the weight. What kind of evil plan is that? That is an evil genius. What are you even trying to gain from that? Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm impressed. Yeah. I am thoroughly impressed that not only did he lose 200 pounds, but he kept it a secret for, I, I don't know, years. I refuse to believe he did that in anywhere less than two years. Because that is a ridiculous amount of weight to lose. It takes me six <laughs> months to go on a 15-pound cut. Ridiculous. And you know what the worst thing is? Ozempic. After he did his supervillain monologue about how he tricked us all, you know what he did for the next 30 minutes of his video? He was eating! He still ate food! Wanna try some? Wanna try some? But at least some things never change, and despite losing the weight, he seems to still be sticking with being a mukbang YouTuber, which is the craziest thing of all. You see, this whole situation raised more questions than it answered. Like, I have so many questions, <sighs> and I'll probably make a follow-up video because I don't know anything right now, but here are my questions. How long has he been on this weight loss journey? How, how long did he plan this for? Like, did he plan it the second he started getting fat? He was like, this would be really funny if I gained 200 pounds yeah. and then lost it all. I have so many questions. Like, I'm making this video like an idiot, mm. tr acting like I have something to explain to you guys. I don't. I'm in shock. I mean, this is the second most shocking thing to ever happen in September in the yeah. history of the world. Yeah. <laughs> you got my ass. I mean, I made at least six videos on this channel calling you fat and making fun of you. And all of a sudden, it was a lie. I don't. I don't get how you can fake that. I don't even know how he did it. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. Mm. You are the ant. I woke up this morning to money deposited into my account for simply not doing something for simply not going through with something. People are the most creatures hmm. on this planet. Interesting. And you will continue to consume. Hmm. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. Nico kind of sounds like a psychopath right now. And who knows, maybe he's a psychopath. Because doing that to your body, there's not a lot of people which will be able to push themselves that far. I can do it. <laughs> I know that I can, but I, when I see another person which is just like me, I'm like, okay, I get it. Me and that guy, we're the same. I have to say, he fooled me, he tricked me. I could not see that. When I was watching his videos, I was like, whoa, shit, this guy's a moron. He's a retard. But it's usually those guys that pretend those guys are the smartest. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year. Okay, I'm not going to be married to you. Why would you do this the day before our wedding? Why do you have to turn off the illusion of a happy marriage? Why do you have wait, to turn wait, wait, me wait. off for my own wait, husband? Wait, what do you mean do what before a marriage? You mean have a digestive system? I'm digesting. Farts mean that it's healthy. I learned that in English class or maybe it'll science or both. For as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain, stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants, Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. Never screw with a person that is as petty as Nico Avocado. The person which gets you isn't the, the macho guy, the, the strong guy. That guy will harm you. He'll make you bleed. But a person like Nico, he'll take his time. He'll, he can wait 10 years. I'm, I'm the exact same way. Like 
when I see it in somebody, I'm like, okay, that's me. I can see certain things. I, there's psychopathic tendencies in this man. I just have to say, I have to put it out there because I'm like, there's no way you're in your right mind if you're willing to put yourself through this. YouTube is the exact same way. When you start to really look at it, people which do YouTube, maybe they're on the scale of being a psychopath. If you're a YouTuber, you understand. You, let's say you've done it for four years, you start to understand what I mean. This is, it's the craziest thing. Like it is the most stimulating thing that I've ever done in my life, ever. I've never pushed myself as much as I pushed myself when I've created YouTube videos. Never. At anything in my life. Not school, like, I beg sometimes, I wish I could go back to school. I wish I could just get like, cause a grade is a grade, you know? You know the answers, those are the answers. YouTube is like a maze, which is constantly morphing into something else. And you have to, through creativity, maneuver your way out of that maze. And I've, I've seen people which have walked in with confidence and they're like, yes, I'm the... And then after a while, when the maze is shifting and they don't have enough creativity, they just lose their minds. Now, I'll leave you guys with this, right? Let this be a warning. If you are laying in your bed today and you're not doing anything and you're coming up with all of these excuses, look at Nico Avocado and look at what he has done. He went from being broke to now, I think if he just moves accordingly, moves correctly, but he's gonna have the right sponsors behind him. He's gonna be a spokesman for like losing weight. He can do a lot with this. Content wise, he can do a lot. And that's what I find so fascinating about this whole story. Stop! What happened to me this this year, you guys? Let's you lost your neck. It's in lost and found. <laughs> Shh! Mm. Mm. Mm.